Okay, so today I'm using Vicki Booten's Evergreen and Holly paper pack. And this paper pack is six by eight. Not normally the size I buy, but um, I like the patterns in the book. So I thought, why not? Ah, so we're just gonna stack them. Stack them, cut them and shuffle them. Okay, so we're gonna stack them all. Make sure, yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna cut them at two and a half inches. Make sure all your panels stay nice and tight with each other. And two and a half inches. Oh, my paper moved. Okay, hopefully not too bad of a crooked line. Uh, a little bit, but we'll see how it works out. Okay, and then I want, we're going to switch cutters here. So now I've cut them like this. This is your pattern. Okay, so I cut straight down the middle. Well, not the middle, but <laughs> the full length of the card, the panel. Now I'm going to take this shorter side from, from here, and I'm going to cut it at two inches. I'm just kidding. Okay, this one's going to be two inches. Okay. And this one, two inches. Okay. So I have all four of these. All four of these. And now this other one, that's the this left side of the template has to be cut at two and three quarters. And I guess I'm just going to use two at a time. Two and three quarters. Okay. So those two. And two and three quarters. And these two. So now I'm just going to make sure that they all are in order. With my trimmer. Okay, so this is how they're going to line up. Just like that. Now before we do the shuffle, I just want to make sure they're all in the same order. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're all good. Well, here's the fun part. You're going to take this small one on the right. You're going to take the top card off, put it at the very back, and lay it down. Then you're going to take this next bunch of strips, <laughs> and you're going to go one, two. And this last load of strips, you're going to go one, two, three. Now notice all four pieces are different. And now let's start making our cards. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to move these over. Okay, now I'm going to take this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm going to stick them all down so they have a little white border going around them. Now here's hoping that my paper was cut straight with that. Okay. Oops. Okay, so let's start gluing these down. Okay, so I'm just using my Barely Arts glue. little clogged. Just going to put a little bit on here and then I'm going to stick it down giving just a little border and I'll just lay this one here for no nope, we need to move over. Oh what's going on here? <laughs> okay I didn't have my 
first piece of paper turned properly. So let's get that down. I was using, instead of being two and a half across here, I had the two and a half going this way. So the two and three quarters was this way and didn't give me any extra room. Okay, so this will work. Maybe even a little bit. I think it's stuck good there now. <laughs> okay, carry on. Okay, so this one, just want to make sure it's the right square, I think, isn't it? Anyways. No. I like to do this kind of like assembly line and then I put all my papers down and then I get all my embellishments and my sentiment. My sentiment's always the last thing to go down. Yeah, these did get cut crooked. That's okay. That's okay. Once we covered them with our embellishments, you won't even know. But that's cute, isn't it? Okay, so everything has been stuck down now and we're ready for our embellishments and our sentiment. So uh, Vicki Booten, um, I ordered these to match the paper and there's 50 pieces of the ephemera um, in here. And I went through and uh, picked out a few for the cards. And also my sentiments all came from Paper Roses and this is the cr crisp Christmas sentiment tongue twister. Um, so as you can see, it comes, these come in black and white. They're just awesome. Um, so what I did was I, I took my circle die and popped one out. I cut this one. I also cut out, I had a cup of two pages of that. And I also have, when you start cutting them up and they, you know, pieces get smaller, I just throw them in the package so I can use them easily. Okay, so put this aside and let's get started. Okay, so my first one here, I'm going to put, I cut this out of the Paper Rose collection here, but I put a little, I made it into a little tag. I think that's what you call it. <laughs> Can't remember. Okay, and my little cup of hot cocoa. Okay, so let's get this one down. Let's go on to this one now. All right, so I cut this out of the uh, Paper Rose collection and I did do a border this time, a little green border on here. So I'm just gonna glue the two together. Okay, we'll do this one. 
Okay, so I popped over sentiment with my circle dies, and I did do a mat for this one. So I'm just going to stick that together. <laughs> Did have a little bit of gap in between here. I must have cut something a little bit wonky. So I'm going to try to put my stick over top of that. Okay, and that will stick this one down. Oh, getting a cold, I think. Fall. Okay, so how about that? That looks really sweet too. <laughs> Okay, so these are the four cards that I just made. Now, remember, I cut my six by eight paper in half. So that means I was able to make an extra four. So I'm going to show you those four right now. Okay, so here we have Oh What Fun. And I just used the ephemera from the same um, package that the paper was made from. It is Vicky Booten, I believe. And then here's my second one. And again, I just used some ephemera. And I also, um, this is from the Paper Rose Sentiments, Christmas Sentiments. 
and I did pop it up. Now I did die cut this on, it's a Spellbinders die. I'm not sure if they still make it or not. It's, uh, I've had it for a very long time, but it's really cute, so those two. And then this one, I just used the ephemera. They're all on some pop dots. And again, from the Paper Roses Christmas Sentiments, wishing you the bestest Christmas ever. And the fourth one, again, I just used some ephemera, popped it up on some foam adhesive, and put Happy Holidays, and again, that's from the Paper Rose Collection. Now, don't go anywhere yet, because I did get eight cards out of this paper, but I got bonus cards. So I had little um, three-quarter inch strips, I believe these are. Um, so what I did was I just put them on some computer paper, just a thin paper, and then I used my um, circle die to punch out the circle. I put it on the cardstock and I, I over, put it over the edge and then I just cut it. It just kind of looks a little bit nicer when it's, when it's shaped like that. Added a little bit of bling, some ribbon, and my sentiment. And again, that's from the Paper Rose Christmas Sentiments. And I used my small die to cut out that circle. I did pop it up on some foam dots as well. I think it turned out really cute. Tell me in the comments if you think so too. <laughs> so here are all nine cards. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye for now.